especially with uh, the livestock grazing on farm ground, we feel like what we're trying to drive there is organic matter. Uh, that's, I think that's the big thing that we're shooting for is increasing organic matter, which you know, over years of traditional farming has gone down and that, that fuels the system. And so we, our struggle has been trying to raise that from you know, somewhere around one and a half percent, which it's a struggle in our environment to do that, even, even just with, with no-till, uh, where our rains aren't timely. And you can have periods of six, seven, eight, 12 months where you get little to no precipitation. And uh, the work that you've done trying to push your crop rotation uh, begins to dwindle and, and disappear. That, that residue on the surface and then the or organic matter um, stops rising. And that's where we've shifted our focus from trying to simply tweak a traditional cropping system. We're spending our, our time and our effort looking at livestock specifically. This year alone we, we had uh, grain sorghum was the fall crop that we had this year. Uh, and the fields that yielded the highest for us were the fields that high, had the highest organic matter. It wasn't necessarily just rainfall. Um, you know, in fact, one of the fields was probably in a little bit lower rainfall area. We're, we're spread out over the county, and the field that actually yielded the highest, I would have said, was in more moderate rainfall compared to some other fields, but it also happened to be a field with some of our highest organic matter. Um, so, I mean, I, I really think organic matter is directly related to profit. One of the things we've seen on our operation over the years is the amazing ability that if you focus on soil health, you'll start regenerating those soils. And by so doing then, you'll, you'll get a much healthier functioning soil ecosystem. That allows all cycles, the mineral cycle, the water cycle to be enhanced. Well, if you have a more functioning water cycle, you're gonna be able to produce more of whatever it is on less moisture. And then if you have a healthy functioning nutrient cycle, you can back off considerably on your synthetic inputs. And in our situation, we haven't used any synthetic since 2008. So all of our cropland has been zero synthetic since then. In the meantime, our yields are 20% higher than the county on average, you know, so our profitability has just skyrocketed. Well, soil health's all about building the soil, building nutrients in the soil. So how do you improve the bottom line is you lessen your expenses. And as you start building soil, you can use less fertilizer, less chemicals, less trips over the field, less fuel. So I agree with, uh, I just heard uh, David Brandt talk about, it's not all about the bushels, it's about the bottom line. So if you can make 100 bushel corn, but make $400 an acre, make 200 bushel corn, but you only make $200 an acre, what's the most profitable? So as soil health builds, uh, cheaping the inputs up opens up a lot more. Besides, I think in the end, we'll produce just as much or more.